Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic how to configure MicroTik router using the command line. Okay, for the last video, I already showed you how to configure something related with the MicroTik using the uh, GUI, uh, using the uh, pin box to the MicroTik uh, and configure something uh, using the GUI. But in this video, um, at the basic configure MicroTik using the command line instead the GUI. Okay, this is the basic how to configure MicroTik using the command line CLIs. Okay, and then uh, you can go to the GNS3 and follow my configuration and follow my command line that I had to show you how to configure the basic of the uh, how to complete my router basic using the command line okay this is the step that we have to do uh, using the command line the step one rename interface name in the micro uh, for the interface one for LAN interface two for when okay and then for the step two add IP address to LAN and when okay this is the IP that we have to assign to LAN interface and uh, IP for the WAN interface okay for steps step 3 and the body and the server step 4 configure the ACP server this, this is the ACP gave up to the client okay this is a step that we have to configure MicroTech using the command line this is the basic that we have, you have to know uh, you have to know and you have to uh, use in the command line also in the GUI you have to know already but uh, in the command line you not yet to know I will to show you in the basic okay and then um, go to the window SP this is the window SP uh, client connect to the MicroTik router okay and then I close this one and I'm connect to the pin box and show you something okay then you see this is the interface name LAN and band uh, this is in the first name uh, LAN and when I'm configured in the uh, MicroTech by the GUI but I will to remove or something configuration reset or remove something configuration to the original uh, configuration no something to config and then I'm going to change the LAN when uh, using the command line okay and then I'm go to the MicroTech router and um, reset the configuration that I'm said before okay you just reset the command uh, reset the configuration you can try the command system reset okay. system reset configuration okay you can enter and then you can click twice so toy Y again uh, you can see the uh, wind box disconnect okay and click OK Okay, and then um, the magnetic is starting. Okay, I'm tying the admin. Okay, and then I'm connect to the main box to show you the something that we have removed already. Okay, and then I go to interface. Okay, you can see in the no interface land or no interface van. Okay, and then go to original interface is net 1, is net 2, is net 3 and is net 4 okay for our step we have to rename 1 to LAN and uh, 2 to WAN okay by command line okay and then I'm going to show you how to rename the interface name by command line in the microtech router Okay, before you want to show the uh, want to rename the interface name you have to know I want to show the interface in the microtech okay, you can type interface print okay, interface print okay this is the command that show the interface name you can see name a time and empty you okay and then you can see black frag zero it means in the interface is net one uh, flat one okay, flat one 
it's mean is in a two, two is mean is three, three is mean four. <coughs> okay, and then I'm going to change the interval name. Four is in a one, it's mean land, four is in a two, it's mean van. Okay, I'm changing interval name only is in a one, it's in a two, three, four, I'm not changing and keep original. Okay, and then I'm go to in the first. Okay, and then you can type command set. Okay, <coughs> four step zero is mean one. So you can set zero name. Okay, and then you can change to it by land. <coughs> okay, when I'm like this, uh, I'm, I'm enter the way to see change is I want to when uh, to land. Okay, then you can see <coughs> change to land. Okay, and then I'm going to change is it two set. Okay, is it two is number one. <coughs> name when. Okay, you can then see. Okay, the step one we already rename the interface and then we go to the add IP address to interval land and when <coughs> okay before I'm um, add, uh, add IP address to interface I'm, I'm going to show you IP address okay <coughs> okay the, uh, don't see any IP that we have to add just only the four uh, the four configuration IP address, so I'm no need to use the IP. I have to remove. Okay, when the remove this IP in the GUI, you can click on this one for the remove. Okay, it's mean remove. Okay, for the command line, you can follow me. Okay, for the command line, you can. <coughs> okay. okay, I'm going to show you IP address pin. Okay, this is the default that you see, the same the GUI. So you want to remove, you can, you want to remove uh, zero. It means the default configuration. Okay, you can add the address, and then remove zero. Okay, when I'm type this command, you will see uh, configuration or uh, IP address remove. Okay, when you want to add the IP address, you for the GUI, you click on this one. Okay, this is a uh, GUI for the add IP address to the interface. Okay, but in the command line, you can type okay IP address. Okay, add address. Okay, add IP address. Follow our diagram. Okay, and then net mask. Okay, okay interface. Okay, assign uh, this IP to interval land. Okay, then you see. Okay, one more we assign IP address to the interval land already. Okay, and then we go into assign IP address to interval land. Okay, you you, you can type IP address address and address. Okay, change the just only change the IP. Okay, that mark. Two five two one five two plus zero in the first. Okay, for when. Okay, then you see. Okay. Okay, and then for the step two, we complete our D. And then we go to the step three and the body and S server. Okay, for the and the body and S server, you can click on IP and uh, the S server on this in the GUI. But on the command line, <coughs> you can type okay so IP IP S. Okay, set server. Okay, I'm tied this IP. Okay, and then okay, you wait to see when I'm 
set like this, you, you will see, okay, IP uh, A dot A dot A dot the A, and then you can type the command IP DA. CP <coughs> set hello request yes okay it's mean take this one hello request okay okay and then you can see the DS, DNS server <coughs> okay for the step 2 and the more on the Okay, and then we go to the step four. Configure the HCP server. Okay, start from this IP. The IP. Okay, for the the HCP server in the gen uh, in the GUI, you can click the IP hey, and the HCP server. <coughs> Okay, but in the GUI, uh, the C and the IP, the ACP server, because we not yet to configure. Okay, and then we, I'm going to show you and configure the ACP server in the GUI command line. Okay, you can type IP, the ACP server, set up, and then enter. <coughs> okay. The ASP assigned to Interland. Okay, this is the ASP address pack. Enter. Okay, get the enter. Okay, this is the address to be assigned to the client. Okay, and then we start from the client to okay, 15. Okay, and then enter. This is the, the DNS server for the client. Okay, when I'm complete the the ACP server, you will to see the ACP server one land and list time. Okay, you can type IP the ACP server print. Okay, you will see the ACP server one. Okay, land relay MT uh, list time. You can see the ACP address pool. Okay, this one. The ACP address pool. Okay, this one the ACP address pool for the IP uh, address to be Okay. Okay, and then you want I want to show you uh, IP that assigned to the client. Which IP? Which one IP they assigned to the client? You can type on IP ACP. Okay. The ACP server list. Okay, then enter. Uh, print. Okay. Okay, not yet to assign. Okay, and then you can uh, go to the client window SP. Okay. Uh, IP. Slash release. Okay, and then I do the slash review. Okay, this is the IP that assigned to the client. Okay, and then you can show IP. Okay, then you will to see this IP for the client. <coughs> okay, already to complete for the ACP server in the migrated by the command line ok and then for the step 4 we complete already 1 2 3 4 ok this is the basic that you have to know about the basic of the command line how to configure the basic command line in the migrated router ok and for the next video I will show you and configure the oral uh, configure uh, firewall NAT using the command line and configure static route, dynamic route, RIP or SPA or something like that okay and for in this video I'm showing you only the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4
before stop step okay for the next video um add more the uh, video about the command line in the market day. okay for this video i'm finished for this video i will to show you again how to use the command line in the market day. <coughs> okay and thank you for watching my video i hope <coughs> you have to support me and like comment and share especially subscribe on my channel cisco dango or cisco of my landing okay thank you for watching my video